Here I'm going to show you three ways to convert scientific notation into regular numbers. And remember, if you like this tutorial, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and give it a thumbs up. So let's say that we are inputting a really long number like this. We hit enter and we get that, but we don't want it. The first way to fix this is we can use a very simple function, the trim function, which is used to remove extra spaces from text. It's not going to matter in this case it will output the full number. However, it is now text and it's on the left side of the cell. That's how you can tell that it is text or seen as text. So maybe you don't want that. Maybe you just want it as a number, but you want it to be formatted so we can see all of the output like this right here. So what we can do is some very simple formatting changes. We input the number and then we go to the general or the home tab and up here in the number box where it says general, select number and then we can remove some decimal places. Or what you can do here, let's set it back to a general, it is a right click, go to format cells, which is just off the screen right now. And then we can go to custom and we have lots of options. The first one here with a zero is what we want. It doesn't have any decimal places by default and we get the full number. So we can hit okay and there we go. And the last one is how to input it safely from the start. So all you do is when you go to input it, single apostrophe, then put the full number in, enter, and there you go. Once again, it's seen as text, but you don't see the apostrophe. So if I double click it, the apostrophe is there, go away, and it's not. And this right here is going to allow you to input really, really, really long numbers without them being truncated. So if I go in here and I paste this in and then let's add three nines, hit enter. They are all zero now. Excel is not happy with that. So let's go ahead and use a single apostrophe, paste that guy in there, nine, 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 enter, and it's still there. And that's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and I'll see you next time.